This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Julie O'Neill. Here's a look at some of the day's top stories. Two people are recovering after shooting in Roselawn overnight. Police were called here to Glen Orchard Road just after midnight where they found both victims and got them to the hospital. We're, expected, we're told they are expected to survive. Police have not yet said whether there are any suspects or arrests in this case. Firefighters rescued a worker trapped under an excavator in Kennedy Heights today. Cincinnati Fire shared these photos of the scene at a construction site on Coleridge Avenue. The worker was freed and taken to the hospital. No word yet on how that worker is doing right now. An early morning fire damages a popular Independence restaurant. When crews first arrived just after two this morning, they say flames were shooting out of the roof of Cruitt's Creek Kitchen and Bar. We're told there is heavy smoke damage to the main area of the restaurant, so it will be closed for a while. It may take days for the Cincinnati Bell Connector to resume full service along Main Street after the partial collapse of a historic building over the weekend. Dozens of bricks fell off the historic Davis Furniture Building in over the Rhine yesterday. Nobody was hurt, but police say it could lead to an emergency demolition. The Cincinnati Bell Connector will run only the OTR loop until Main Street is cleared for safe travel. Taylor. The potential for some strong storms to develop across the tri-state today. We're under a slight risk for severe weather through this evening. Could see some damaging winds associated with those storms. Also, portions of the tri-state under a heat advisory until 7 this evening. Could see heat index values 100 to 103. We've got another heat watch in effect for your Tuesday, but looking at your nine day forecast, we are seeing these 90s sticking around. It is going to be hot and humid for the majority of this week before we finally see temperatures returning closer to seasonal and with much drier air for the weekend.